My name is Ilsa Kuffner and I work with the U.S. Geological Survey and my title is Research Marine Biologist. The focus of my job is to investigate the causes and effects of coral reef degradation. So I do experiments to determine how things like water temperature, water quality, and ocean acidification affect the growth and health of coral reefs. Usually I will go into the field and that entails driving down to the, usually the Florida Keys, but I've also done work in the Virgin Islands. One of the coolest parts of my job, I think, is being out to sea and uh, living aboard a ship. We usually spend between one and three weeks going from site to site. In the, we have corals in the field that we measure every six months. One of the primary ways we do that is to just simply monitor how much coral is alive on the bottom of the ocean. We use scuba diving quite a bit because a lot of the work that we do is, is actually underwater where the corals live in between 10 and 30 feet. I was probably in about sixth grade when I really decided to uh, explore things that were underwater. And, and in the, I grew up in the Midwest, so that was in freshwater lakes and creeks and things. So that, that was pretty influential, just spending a lot of time outside and, and enjoying the outdoors. And then when I was a senior in high school, um, my parents took us to St. Thomas in the Virgin Islands, and that was the first time that I saw the tropical ocean and the coral reefs, and I was blown away. And after that, I was pretty much set on studying coral reefs. For someone who wants to be a scientist, I think that the best way to prepare for that would be to just let your curiosity take you where, where it does. Um, get to know the world, get to know the natural world and um, you know how things work. Take things apart, put them back together. Do experiments. You can do experiments on anything. You know, make a hypothesis and, and design an experiment to try to figure it out. If that gets you excited, I think you're cut out to be a marine biologist.